So how's that Russian collusion narrative working out for you? It's completely collapsed. Everyone is colluding with Russia except Trump. Basically, <laughs> you, you, you've, you, you've got the Podesta group, you've got the, the Hillary campaign, you've got the DNC, you've got the FBI. Colluding with the Russians to dig up dirt on your political opponents to try to influence an election is bad, right? really bad. I mean, when Don Jr. met with that Russian lawyer, the media went nuts. That was treason. Yes, treason. We're, we're now beyond obstruction of justice in terms of what's being investigated. This is moving into perjury, false statements, uh, and even into potentially treason. Bordering on treason as well. The president himself is bordering on treason because all of them have sought out damaging information when it, uh, about Hillary Clinton from the Russians. Certainly, uh, there's Outright treason. We've got to start being outright. This is the scariest thing I've seen in my life in, in politics. This is evidence of willingness to commit collusion. He's saying, yes, I had the intent to collude. I went in and I took the meeting, which by definition is colluding. A senior advisor and someone who was in the top tier of the Trump campaign colluded. How did the media react to confirmation that Hillary, the DNC and Obama's FBI, colluded with Russia to fund the fake Trump Pissgate dossier, and then lied about their involvement for a whole year while pointing the finger at Trump for Russian collusion with no evidence, while that same establishment media helped them promote the lurid fake Trump Pissgate dossier? Well, how do you think they reacted? They buried it, they downplayed it. Despite it being the biggest story of the day, by far, ABC devoted just 31 seconds to it at the end of a story about a separate issue. 31 seconds. Compare that to their coverage of Trump Jr.'s meeting, which on the day it broke, ran for over 10 minutes. CNN tucked it down here while giving top billing to a far less important story about WikiLeaks. How did the media react to the bombshell revelations about Hillary Clinton and the Obama administration? colluding with Russia in the Uranium One scandal. Despite it being the biggest story of the last week, CNN devoted an entire 3 minutes 54 seconds to it over the course of 7 days. But hey, at least they did better than ABC, CBS or NBC who devoted no time to it whatsoever. Oh, but the media's not controlled, oh no! Keith Olbermann, who's been frothing at the mouth about Russia for the past year, SCUM! Russian scum is now triggered that Trump won't shut up about Russia. <laughs> oh, the sweet, sweet irony. How did left-wing pundits and celebs react to Trump Jr. meeting the Russian lawyer? Joy Reid, Nick Confessori, Alyssa Milano, Matthew Chapman. They all freaked out. Colluding with the Russians to do opposition research was dreadful. Maybe even an imprisonable offence. How did those very same people react to Hillary and the Dems colluding with the Russians to do opposition research. Only the American media could make a scandal out of opposition research. Let the party who has never peddled oppo research cast the first stone. Honest question, does it matter who funded it? It's campaign research. Isn't campaign research normal? Senate GOP ruined the lives of scammed vets and identity theft victims tonight. Media's top story. Hillary Clinton did opposition research. So Trump Jr. having some useless meeting with a Russian lawyer, that's awful. The Democratic Party and the Clinton campaign scheming with the FBI to collude with the Russians by producing a fake dossier to influence the election, that's just fine. How did the media react when Trump tweeted a week ago that Hillary, the FBI and the Democratic Party were probably behind the Pissgate dossier? CNN said he was floating conspiracy theories. CNN reporters ridiculed him. Never Trumpers said he was a disgrace. And yet Trump has been proven completely right. He's totally vindicated. Just like when they called him crazy for saying his campaign was wiretapped and he was proven completely right about that too. So Hillary engaged in the dirtiest of dirty tricks. Oh, and by the way, we told you this whole Russian collusion narrative was completely fake 10 months ago. So either Russia has suddenly launched a coordinated effort to sabotage Western democratic elections, or the unpopular leaders of those countries have suddenly launched a coordinated propaganda campaign to blame Russia for absolutely everything to distract voters from their own failed policies. And at the end of it all, after all the hysteria, all the pearl clutching, all the promises of impeachment, all the investigations, the only real evidence of Russian collusion was that conducted by Obama's FBI, the DNC, and Hillary Clinton. Let that sink in.